guys, today we're going to build a ball diff and I'm just going to show you uh, my way of doing it because I think I simplified it a little bit. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay everything out that you have in your kit. And I lay it on a rag so your balls don't roll around and you don't want to lose them because that can uh, end your building night pretty quick. What we're going to do is grab the outdrive, just give it a quick wipe off. They do get dirty in the package and sometimes they've got some burrs on them. You're going to take the black grease and just put a dab on each side. And the reason why I do that is just to hold the plate in place. And here's our plate. Again, just make sure it's clean really quick. And some plates actually have a side on them. One side's rounded, one side's flat. Usually you want the rounded edge out. Go ahead and place it on there. We've already got our other one done. What I like to do is we'll take our bearings we're going to use with our ball diff, and we'll put it on. And I go ahead and I set the gear on right away. This gives me a closed back so I don't drop any balls. What I do then is I fill up every hole with the clear stealth diff grease. For the next uh, step, we're going to make sure we have a good Allen key here. And you want to make sure it's not magnetized because you don't want it to grab the balls. The reason for this is you don't want it to pick them up as you're dropping them in the hole. So what I do then is I put a dab of black grease on the end of my Allen key here. Fairly good amount. And you use that to pick up the balls. Another way you can do it too is just by grabbing all of them and putting them in the gear. Like this with your fingers. And you can just roll them around in there after. So you've got to make sure that you don't pick up any junk and put it in there like hair or anything else off of your rag because this will cause the rolling to be notchy in it and that's what you don't want when you're building a ball if you want it to be nice and smooth. If you get a little bit of black grease in here it doesn't really matter. You want to make sure that you get these balls to click in and when they click in that means that they're in place. Now that all our balls are in place, I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick wipe. Just get the rest of the black grease off. And then we're going to build our thrust bearing. So now that we got our uh, diff screw on, our Allen key here, I make sure I find the right size. You put the one flat washer on, again wiping it off just to make sure it's nice and clean. And you're going to put a big coat of black grease on here. Now that it's on there, we're going to do the same trick with another Allen key. Make sure it's not magnetized again. Put a big drop on the end of that one. And we'll use that to pick up the balls. I got them all on. I put the other washer on the top. And I just go around with my fingers and push them all in. So that when you try to put it in the output... It doesn't squish any of them out. These outputs are usually pretty sensitive to which way they go on so that when the car is driving, your diff's not loosening. That's a mistake a lot of people make. So you've got to make sure that when your car is going forward, it's tightening the screw so that it doesn't come loose on you and become notchy. So in our book here, it tells us to put it in this way with the screw on the female end of the cup. So now we got it installed. This is the spring that holds pressure on the ball disc screw. And you usually want to give them a couple squeezes with a pair of pliers just to make sure that the tension is uh, properly set. And sometimes springs need to break in, so you'll tighten it, and the first time you run your car, it'll come loose on you. So now we got our nut deburred. We're going to go ahead and put it down. And you slide it down to your fingers as you tighten it up. And usually I snug mine up. Check your ball diff action, and it's nice and silky smooth. Now, a lot of people will tighten them and they'll break a screw off inside. What I like to do is I like to snug mine until you see the action start to tighten up. And then you can buy a ball diff setting tool, which I don't have mine here. But if you're ever in a quick pinch, you can grab two smaller Allen keys. Ones that fit in the groove. And if you lock the diff up, you shouldn't be able to roll it. Now, there's many different ways to set it. I usually set mine a little bit tight just because of my driving style. And then I find they break in, they don't come loose. Because what happens is if the gear ends up spinning on here, the balls will develop notches into the plates. And then you'll have to buy new plates or you'll have to take them off and resurface them. That's a pain in the butt. If you build it once, build it right, you don't have to do a whole bunch of maintenance on it. Unless you're driving on lots of uh, dirt and stuff. But you're going to have to take it apart anyways regardless. But why have to make it sooner than later, right? So now you got it all set up. And that's how you build a quick ball diff.